Hey y'all. So, I figured I would pick up the camera this weekend because I just, I just felt like vlogging. I'm about to make myself a decaf coffee. I bought this from my favorite, Grounds and Hounds. I only drink Grounds and Hounds. That's all I buy for the house. Um, and decided to get a decaf. Ooh, it smells good. Okay, so I don't know if y'all have noticed in the split second that you just saw behind me, but our kitchen, there's new countertops. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, without going into too much detail, let's just say that this is a decision that like we want to renovate the kitchen, you know, we're going to paint everything white. We're going to change the backsplash. We're just going to paint the backsplash actually. But this is all things that would have come in, in time, you know, probably in 2024, well into 2024, we, we would have started these things. But Sebastian's dad d decided to, he wanted to gift us with this countertop. So he paid for this, uh, and also, a sink this was my biggest complaint like i hated our sink before it was it was very shallow first of all and then it had the divider in the center and then it was like an old school faucet and yeah it was just a pain with dishes and stuff but like we were fine we we were chilling and this was a little bit frustrating just because like we were not ready for this because now we need to like like, as you can see, we don't have a faucet. I actually think that just got delivered. I know that Sebastian ordered this the other day. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. I'm not gonna open them because it's not, he's upstairs sleeping. So that's what I was just doing. Well, I wasn't sleeping. He's sleeping because he woke up at like 3 a.m. for no reason other than he couldn't sleep. So he's been awake. We went to the gym. I had like a really good quad workout. It was incredible. <laughs> and then we came home, ate lunch and he was tired. So he wanted to take a nap and I was just reading for a little bit. I've been reading The Good Daughter a uh, recommendation from my sister. It's a really long book though. I didn't realize it's over 500 pages, but a little bit more than halfway. And I decided I wanted a coffee, a latte specifically. I'm gonna have to use Sebastian's oat milk because I don't have any. Anyways, with the kitchen renovation now, uh, it just kind of feels like we, we don't really have to do everything else, but now things just look weird. Um, it's also not completely finished. Like there's this spacing beneath the backsplash that needs to be like filled in. And also the sink, like the sink, the other problem is that they drilled the hole too far backwards. And we bought a faucet that's like, you know, the, the ones that loop over, I forgot what they're exactly called, but that is perfect. But we need the hole a little bit closer to the sink because we have this that y'all are sitting on we have this thing here and here's the hole and if you if the thing goes up here it's gonna it's gonna hit that so now this perch that y'all are sitting on windowsill is gonna have to be like sawed shorter and pushed back which like his dad is this is what his dad does he does a lot of things like electricity work and remodeling and stuff so he can help us but it's just it's just frustrating we're just gonna have to work on this project much sooner than we expected to. Uh, so, I mean, as the, the most important thing is getting this sink in because it's been really annoying to not be, we have like stuff in the dishwasher and we've been washing some things in the, in the bathroom sink. This was literally since just yesterday. So it's only, it hasn't even been like 24 hours, but um, yeah, now we're kind of like forced to <laughs> get this remodeling done but I'm not sure. Oh, the other thing, the other problem is our old sink had, uh, Sebastian had bought the, I don't know where it is, but a, a water filter for that specific type of faucet. And now this new faucet is not compatible with water filters, so we don't have a water filter. So in the meantime, Sebastian did buy us a couple of gallons of water. 
Um, we like drinking water in Georgia, like tap water is probably not that bad, but like, I don't know. You just prefer filtered water. Like that's what we're both used to. So because of that, we now need to buy a fridge. So that's what we're probably gonna do today. And that's what, um, like once Sebastian wakes up, we'll go do that. This is our current fridge. I don't like the fridge, it's, it, but it works for now. You know, like it's, it's worked for us. We were in no rush to replace these things. Y'all know that I obviously bought like furniture for the house and that's what I wanted to buy, like just to make it more comfortable. And then we still need a sofa. Uh, well, we want to get a sofa still sectional and then we want to replace the bed with a bigger bed. So we can still do that, but um, probably gonna go and like feel couches again and beds this weekend or next, probably next weekend. And then come February, I'm going to like make the purchase. I want us to pick one out. So then by the time the sales come back, which I think will be like President's Day, I'll just make the purchase. The other thing that just came today is my Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. And this is, I just opened this the other day, just got it today. And in order to get the bonus, which is like $750, you have to spend four thousand. Y'all know how I am with credit cards. I I use them responsibly just to take advantage of the bonuses and the points. So that's what I uh, I'm gonna buy the furniture with that card and probably the fridge because that will help reach that four thousand dollar spend. Okay, let me make a latte. It's fine. It'll be fine. Something else I was thinking of purchasing is a new camera. I want the light, I just want a smaller camera so I can vlog with it. The camera that I have been looking at, like I literally put it in my cart the other day on Best Buy, is the Sony ZV-1F. Well, I just ordered it, so. I found like a camera kit on Amazon that was, it was like more things included, like an extra battery and the same tripod I was gonna get, as well as um, like a cleaning kit and a case and stuff. It came to about the same price as what I was about to buy, what, what I was about to pay on Best Buy, but I still went with Best Buy just because, I don't know, sometimes those camera kits can be, can be sketchy. Um, ordering from like a random company on Amazon, their reviews were okay, but I'd rather just be safe and um, I can go pick up from Best Buy today. So maybe I'll even vlog on that today and tomorrow, but we'll see. I did just take a couple of photos of these stickers cause I did, uh, I ended up ordering larger stickers of this I Heart Cash Back. These are the, the original little babies. So we have a big one and a little one. So let me post these. And I actually have two more digital products coming to, at least two more, um, Google Sheets templates coming to my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna try to work on those, I guess, right now. This lighting is solid. <laughs> Kitchen sink. Let's see. Wait, does it fit? Yeah, I guess it will. That is so pretty though. Oh, and you know what? It, it turns, right? Like, it'll be turned. You open, and then you choose your temp. Oh, it, that faces forward though? Yes. You can have it this way too. They're all dented. Like... Yeah, they're all pretty badly dented. I don't want that. No, I don't like this. I don't think that's... Oh, I'm hiding over here all the dents. Look at that. Yeah, that's what they... This one's really good. So it's a plant for the little Home Depot! Like this. Here. This is just display though. They're not this isn't the exact one. You think so? Yeah. This is too deep. 
We're having a hard time with the fridge situation because we have, our house is pretty small, so the fridge depth needs to be like counter, counter depth. Yeah, these days all the, all the fridges are standard depth and that's just, it's gonna stick out so far of our counter, it just won't look good. There's Best Buy. We have looked at like this appliance store that they just have like a lot of dings on them, all the refrigerators, so they're lower prices, but some of the dings are just unacceptable, you know? <laughs> and then we just looked at Home Depot, so I'm gonna go to Best Buy because I'm gonna pick up my camera, but we'll, we'll look at the fridges too. This camera takes so long now to good. Best Buy. Yeah. Like what? 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 It's like half the size, so. And this is a wide frame. Like, you know how this doesn't, like this is pretty zoomed in. It comes with the little. You know what, I'm gonna get mic, rid of lobster biscuits. Mic on the top too. <laughs> what I'm excited about is I can put a, a tripod and still put the battery in or change the SD card without taking the tripod off. With the camera I'm holding now, in my, you know, that I'm filming on, I can't do that, so. Mm. This is exciting. This Deal also breaker. flips out. Deal breaker right Flips there. out like mine does, so it's like the mirrorless camera. Cute. Making pasta. Always the same pasta. Did end up going back to Best Buy to get, hold on, to get the rest of my order. So, Sebastian's been selling the sink. <laughs> but this is the Sony tripod because I hate the tripod I have. Like, I needed a, a new tripod for so long. Uh, but, because th this, I literally use like a tissue box or books or something other than a handheld tripod because I hate mine. But yeah, got this and then it comes with another SD card and I always need those. So unfortunately they weren't ready at the same time. I don't know why. I was like, can I just go get it? And he was like, no. Like, okay. Um, yeah, in case y'all don't know, making the vegan Alfredo, same recipe I've used. We've probably made this. I'll have the recipe link down below. I think we've made this like a solid 20 plus times now. You're too big for that. <laughs> you really are. It's funny. You gotta show your butt crack. You know? Facts. Oh, guys, I also bought this. How exciting. Oh, chocolate. Extra creamy almond and sea salt. I think my sister has had this, but I'm not a huge Hershey's fan though, but it's all right. I'm, I'm open to trying that. Here's the finished meal. This is just my first serving. I'll definitely get more. By the way, these little vegan chicken things. These guys, Pringles original flavored chicken fries. These were new. Hope they're good. Oh, she's recording? <laughs> what else? Here what we else? go. Y'all be the judge. Can I make it? One, Beautiful. two, three. Let's go. Aww. It's that little amount. Aww. Aww. You need more. Shout out to Dita's adopters that made this. Do they have a website? Again? Live Love Rescue. I think it's Mike's Tumblers. Should give them a little. little Dita. Shout out. And this is for Barkville Dog Rescue. If y'all ever need a rescue to donate to, that's who I usually 
That's how I ended up. Well, Dita ended up being fostered through her. Oh, we ordered the fridge last night. We were watching the movie, like, leave. I haven't finished it. Leave the world behind, something like that. We'll finish it today. It was it was weird, but I mean it was good. Don't really know what's happening. We're about to go to Sprouts in the next the one next to my apartment. The city I want to go back to. My dear Sprouts. This city gotta come to revolution. There's two hiding underneath. Let's yeah, we try. got. Let's can try. I take this off? Sheesh. There's that pistachio, raspberry pistachio, pistachio, cranberry, cranberry, cranberry pistachio. orange pistachio. This one's eggnog. Eggnog it's filled. filled, 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 in, filled it's in. like eggnog brulee or something like that. And then under that, there's just a regular a vanilla. vanilla to reset the palate. The vanilla. It's my favorite, personally. We have our handy dandy coffee. So what, like, do we split all of them in half? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. All right. Oh, my jaw hurts. I've had jaw pain for a few days. I had this back in August. Mmm. That's so much better with the coffee. Yeah. Right? The filling, the eggnog is good. Mm -hmm. We have Christmas music on too. I get copyright. Oh, I didn't even mention. So the lady and husband in line in front of us. As soon as we got there, I was like, I know her. I couldn't. I I thought her name was what I thought it was, but I wanted to confirm on Facebook. So I checked on Facebook before saying her name and be like, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but she remembered me. So I used to um, take her fitness classes at Georgia State University. I would go to every single one of hers. It was like multiple times a week. Um, yeah, and she was awesome. And she would go to like, there was this other guy who taught fitness classes and she would go to his classes. So I would see her pretty frequently. Um, that was when I was a freshman in college. This is my favorite of all time. It's just their vanilla. We should honestly get a dozen of just that one day. Loretta and Heath rated this the lowest. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like. It's fighting words. It's literally just the OG, you know, like can't go wrong mm -hmm. with it's because they like they like crazy stuff yeah like sometimes having too much is i don't like too much good. on the donut yeah like it, it becomes i really like filled donuts are pushing it for me even this is perfection like <laughs> yeah good. especially when they're warm or you heat them up mm. All right, change of shirt because I'm about to film a finance sit down video. I'm gonna film my financial goals for 2024. One of my favorite things to talk about, of course, finances and goals, love it. So gonna film that, it shouldn't take too long. Um, and I don't really like have to film it today, but it allows me to uh, get ahead and then I have to just film one less video during the work week. Um, this is also a sponsored video, so I um, have to get it over to them before I actually upload it. I did change my shirt because the other one I, I wear pretty frequently. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite shirts, but um, I wear it in a lot of finance videos, so I try to switch it up. Um, this one has a hole in it because, do y'all remember, when was that? A while ago. I don't, I doubt anybody is still watching from 2016, I think it was, 2000, no, 2017, we found a little kitten, Jixer. He was such a bad cat, like the worst kitten. I did not like him. He was adorable, beautiful cat, 
but he even got kicked out of the cat room at Petco. Like he ended up going there because like we fostered him for a little bit. He was just such a demon. Oh my God, he was awful. But he put this hole in my beautiful little sweaters. So yeah, I don't know if any of y'all remember him, but he now lives on a farm because he was just not adoptable. He got adopted and then he like attacked somebody's face or something. So he was returned and then they were like, yeah, he's a huge menace in the cat room. So he got kicked out and they put him on a farm with some horses. And apparently he's doing much better now as an adult, but that's the last I heard. Okay, so gonna film, then I need to edit and then I'm gonna probably eat a little bit, like an actual meal, some good food. <laughs> and then go to the gym. Filming that? Oh my God. I don't know what, I, that was a struggle, y'all. Sitting down just to chat sometimes is, it just doesn't come easy to me and it's so, so frustrating. And then I know I can't expect him to stop everything. But Sebastian is downstairs just making a goddamn ruckus and he opened the garage. I don't know what he did out there. He shut the garage. And then he's down there vacuuming, slamming, slamming it against the, the wall, and then emptying the vacuum, smashing it into the trash can. So when he's doing that, I have to stop talking. And it's like, I could probably get away with the vacuuming. I think I could drown it out with my editing and stuff. But it's so distracting. It's like talking over a loud sound, you know? So I just... <sighs> I need water. Now I'm gonna edit. Let's see what he's doing. All right, my video is uploading. So I'm writing up a summary for my a client that I had this week, a finance client. And she did a, a second set of eyes session, which was, she was actually my first person to sign up for that. And it was really fun. We spoke for two hours about her financial situation. And now I'm writing up a overview of everything we discussed so I can send this to her. And my video is uploading. What's it at right now? 98%. So it's going to upload, process, check, all the good stuff. I do have to make a thumbnail, but then I'll, I'll get that up. It's 2.12 p.m. But it feels like it's like later because it's so gloomy outside. I just turned the light on. Don't mind the bed, that's all <laughs> my clean laundry. But here's the gym fit. Top is it's this blue tank top from Halara. The cute little cutout. Alpha Elite leggings, and then I'm gonna wear, I have black socks on. I look kinda weird, huh? That's all right. Gonna wear, wear my um, Adidas Acers, the all black ones. And, oh, this jacket is Salesforce. <laughs> trailblazer, whatever, trailhead. I don't always go to the gym on Sundays, but this week I missed like three days at the gym, I think, just because one day I didn't feel good, one day I had to work late and I had client calls and stuff, so um, yeah. I'm gonna go today and train shoulders, abs, and cardio. Also going to be bringing the good daughter to read I wanted to finish this this weekend, but that's a lot of pages. It's like 250 plus, but maybe I'll still <laughs> be able to. Uh, this is just taking me a lot longer to read than I expected, but I'll read that while I do cardio. Side note, y'all. Ryan Carveo dropped an album last week on December 1st, and it might just be his best album ever. And that's saying a lot because like all of his music is just fabulous. And this album is almost perfection. He's also touring in 2024, which is so exciting. But unfortunately, he's not coming to Atlanta. So my sister and I are gonna take a road trip to one of his other shows. And yeah, that's gonna be exciting. So unfortunately not in Atlanta, but we can, you know, make it fun. We'll have to get an Airbnb because obviously it's a drive and then the show is at night. So we would be like driving back 
early in the morning. It's like really windy right now. It looks like a small tornado, so that's annoying. Sunday meal prep. Got some broccolini going, broccolettes, whatever you want to call them. Tofu with, of course, mild taco seasoning from Siete. I already made a batch. And then I actually have one of these meals in the refrigerator already from last week, so that's what I'm gonna eat. Have the rice going. Also, check this out made a vegan egg salad. I also made one for Sebastian. His isn't vegan though. This is with tofu. Figure it out. This is tofu, green onions, turmeric, vegan mayonnaise, which I know isn't like the healthiest thing, but it's fine. And an alternative is using like plain yogurt, basically. I'll just link the recipe down below, but this is pretty good. I think it'll like, once it sits overnight, It'll pick up all the flavors and taste even better. I'm gonna make like some avocado sandwiches. Sure? We just watched Leave the World Behind. Finished it. We watched an hour and a half of it last night and then 30 minutes just now. Don't watch it. No clue. Apparently it's based off of a book, so I did not know that. Weird, 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 weird movie and just did not expect that ending, I think I just read like an interview of the guy who wrote the book or whoever it was, I don't know. And like, it's different from the book apparently, the ending. And <coughs> he was saying like, you just, I don't want to give it away, but. Yeah, well we can't really talk about it. If I don't want to give it away. In yeah. Watching. It's not not worth watching. It was just like unsatisfying, I guess, but. We're, it was like entertaining for the most part. Some parts of it kind of, they like talked too much or yeah. like went about things for too long. It felt like it was about to like really hit a good climax and then it didn't. Yeah, yeah. Because it was getting intense and then it just- And nothing was yeah. explained, like the deers. Yeah, that we don't even know what happened with those were they were they government? Were they actual? You know, like were they robots? Yeah, so much. So, so they many, seem like so many questions behind it that. And they they were saying like the deer are trying to warn us, but like. How so? From what? What are they doing? I don't know. Strange and like the flamingos in the pool. I don't know. Very strange movie. In the meantime, if you guys haven't read, what am I reading? Oh, yeah, he's... It's good, it's good. Uh, he's reading... The last five, right? Five Survive. Five Survive. Holly Jackson. Would you know? Oh, Holly good. Jackson. I tried to get him to read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder in Costa Rica, and he put it down after, like, not even... because it was vacation. It you can't, like, on vacation, I'm not really in the mood for that. That's crazy. Well, I haven't read Five Survive yet, so I'm like, don't tell me anything. It's good. I'm got, I got to the point where stuff gets serious. Yay. Like it's at the beginning of that part. It's been cool seeing him reading at night. One of my books at that. So yeah. um, Holly Jackson, I've only read her one book and I'm like, she's the best. <laughs> but I like that book. A Good Girl's, a good girl's Guide to Murder. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm excited to <clears throat> read Five Survive. He's gonna go get some dominoes. Uh, okay. 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 Last weekend we watched The Suicide Squad. That was good. That was funny. Is the other one on? Yeah. Did you, did you wanna watch it? Maybe, I don't care. You can, like, you can put it on. I don't mind it. The Suicide Squad made, made me laugh out loud like multiple times.
like the little um, weasel thing <laughs> at the end, and now it was coughing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was so ugly. Good. <laughs> it's so cold. Can you here. blur my face? Sure. Because I'm sick here. Oh yeah, his eyes swollen. You can't tell. <laughs> she punched me. <laughs> I punched him. <laughs> no. Y'all remember? A couple months back, I like was drinking this and thought it was disgusting. It's really not that bad. I've been drinking it every day. For two weeks now. You proud of me? Yeah. So, it's really not that bad. I've even been drinking it with just water. I haven't discussed that we don't turn the, the heat on. Rosie. It's 59 degrees in the house. In the house it's 59 degrees. Just so y'all know. What's the ideal temp in a house? Drop it down in the car. 76. For me, it's 32. Sucks. Wow, okay. This is smoothing my face. I don't look like this, y'all. I think I'll turn that off because... Mm -mm. I mean, that's nice, but I don't look like this. This is the new camera. Um, it's on the new tripod. It is a little bit distracting. This There's like a lot going on with the screen like a ton going on. It's it's also bright red, like telling me it's recording. And then it keeps like finding my eyeball. It's hard to explain. But I am not going to vlog all day today. I just wanted to wrap this one up and I figured I would finish it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over this editing that's on here. I'm just about to log on to work though. It is really, really cold in here. It's 59 up here as well. But I have my little space heater in here, so it makes the room, like, I don't know, maybe five degrees warmer if you just leave it on, which is helpful. And then as the sun comes up, that also helps. This was obviously a bit of a random vlog, just a random weekend in my life, but hopefully y'all enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.